Hi, my name is Russell Harwood. I undertook the Waste and Resource Management Master's degree at Cranford University full time. After my environmental science um, undergraduate degree, uh, there were a lot of different um, aspects that I could go into uh, as a career environmental management, ecology, uh, waste. Um, I had a general interest from, uh, of waste management through my undergraduate dissertation, and I felt that. Um, if I could tailor my uh, career options to one specific industry, it would give me better um, employment prospects in the future because I tailored my uh, career. I chose the course specifically. Um, the different variety of options in modules, um, there's a lot of different aspects of waste management. Um, there's te technological, um, environmental aspects to waste management. I felt that the course generally had a, a fantastic um, range of different modules that would allow me to kind of try and get the, the basic knowledge of all the different aspects of waste management that I could take into a potential career in the future. And also the, the fact that you get to undertake a group project with industry uh, and a, a tailored industry-based uh, thesis, uh, yeah, definitely uh, good options. My uh, taught modules, I had eight of them over the space of uh, five or six months, um, a range of different modules. I had waste disposal and resource recovery, which looked at um, landfill um, primarily and disposal methods of waste, looking into landfill gas and leachate. Um, I also had modules that went through the, the thermal treatment side of waste management, so looking at energy from waste, gasification and pyrolysis, which are new technologies coming through in the next decade or so. Um, the project uh, we undertook was with a company called Polkacrest. They've just been acquired by CETA in the last uh, couple of months. Um, we went to uh, their facility in Wales, which is a, uh, an autoclaving facility and an incinerator, and they specifically um, collect clinical waste from hospitals. Our, our job was to, they wanted to, um, they wanted us to do a post-project, um, not so much a post-project appraisal, but they wanted us to understand how they could cut costs in their company. They had a system that they felt that wasn't efficient enough, and they wanted us to kind of see how they could um, make their system better. Um, some of my best bits at Cranford, I'd say, was um, probably the group project. I got to work with um, a diverse group. One mum's from the Maldives, another from Belgium, Spain, and I'm from England. So you, you get to understand different uh, people's perspectives in life um, as well as their experience from waste management. Um, one lady had MBA, I'm just from education, so different people can bring different skills to a group and it, it's brilliant that you can all work together to make it work. It fulfilled my expectations more so than I ever thought it was. Uh, it would, sorry. Um, I expected it to be hard and difficult, but I never expected to gain so many transferable skills. Um, I undergraduate degree, you gain the knowledge. Um, I felt from Cranford that I, I gained um, more of a, a wise head, if, if that's the right way to put it. Like things I wouldn't have gained through undergraduate or A levels, I gained more a worldly experience, primarily because you get taught by a range of different tutors from different environments in waste. But also, the, the people that you're working alongside every day from completely different backgrounds. Like there's many different people from all over the world. You. you Generally, I, I have no idea that of other universities that would, would give you the same, um, same ability to work with those people. I've just finished my thesis and in um, on a, week, uh, a week's time I'm going to start a, a job um, with Waste Recycling Group down near Oxford as an environmental monitoring technician at one of their landfill sites. Um, I think that the Waste and Resource Management Master's degree at Cranfield has definitely helped me um, gain employment with Waste Recycling Group. Um, I think there are other candidates with experience of the role that I'll be undertaking. Um, as I've never had a career in waste management before, I definitely think that the modules I undertook and the knowledge I gained through that and the, um, the transferable skills I gained from my group project and my thesis, I it was able to demonstrate this to the employer that although I didn't have the experience, I definitely had potential in able to fulfil the, the role that I'll be going into um, in a week's time. And I definitely think that without the master's degree, um, I, I don't think honestly I would have been as successful 
in getting that um, job as I have been so far. I have a few specific career aims. Um, I want to gain Chartered Institute of Waste Management um, full status, uh, but that will take four years to five years of being in the waste management industry. Um, I just want to become uh, the best professional I can be in the waste management industry. In my postgraduate thesis, um, I had to go through a selection process. Um, there were different options from the university specifically to choose. Um, but one of my tutors um, asked me if I would like to apply for the Geotech Award from Chartered Institute of Waste and Management. And this involved me um, compiling or sending them my CV and a covering letter of why I felt that I was uh, suitable to undertake the research on their behalf. Um, I was successful in this, uh, I found out in February. So basically now uh, I had to undertake the research for them. Um, but after my thesis that involves me um, compiling a journal for them in, to be published in their CR, CWRM um, annual publication and also me presenting at the um, CIWM professional um, awards dinner at Lord's Cricket Ground in October this year.